All right, let's talk about the giant Microsoft plot twist. Windows 10 users, brace yourselves. Support is ending soon. Yep, Microsoft basically said, thanks for your service, now upgrade or perish. But here's the spicy part. Even if your PC is screaming, I can totally handle Windows 11. Microsoft sometimes gatekeeps you because of TPM chips, secure boot drama or random hardware excuses. Well, today I will show you how to say no Microsoft, I will not buy a new laptop just to check my emails. We are upgrading any Windows 10 PC to Windows 11, even the unsupported ones. Best part, 100% free, no shady cracks, no data loss, just pure Windows glow up. Step 1. Reality check. So, Windows 10 runs fine, but when you check updates, nada. Instead, you get the check hardware requirement links, aka Microsoft's way of saying, you are too poor for our VIP club. That link takes you to PC health check. Download it and watch it tell you your PC isn't invited to the Windows 11 party. Thanks Bill Gates. Basically, the software scans for TPM, secure boot and other buzzwords that sounds like Star Wars droid. If your system fails, Microsoft blocks the update. Step 2. Backup. Yes, seriously. Before we override their rules, quick PSA, backup your stuff. Yes, this method keeps your data safe, but Windows updates are like relationships. Sometimes they fail midway and leave you stuck between two versions. So grab your files, throw them on a hard drive, cloud, USB stick, whatever. Okay, good. Moving on. Step 3. Grab the secret sauce. FlyOB 1.2. Now, here is where the fun begins. Head to your browser. Type FlyOB GitHub. You will see the latest release, FlyOB 1.2. Think of it as Windows cheat code. Download it. Once downloaded, extract the zip and double click the FlyOB app. Your antivirus might freak out, screaming malware. Ignore it. It is fine. Just tell Windows, relax buddy, I know what I am doing. Step 4. The magic switch. Once FlyOB opens, you will see two sections, Upgrade and OB Toolkits. But the real MVP here, a tiny checkbox at the bottom, Enable Advanced Upgrade Mode. That's the one that says, what is TPM? What is Secure Boot? Ignore all your nonsense, Microsoft. Click it. Done. Now your PC suddenly qualifies like it just faked an ID to get into a club. Step 5. Download Windows 11 ISO. You have three options here. Grab the ISO straight from Microsoft website. Use the media creation tool or use their fancy Fido script. We are keeping it clean, official ISO from Microsoft site. Pick Windows 11, your language and hit download. Yes, it is a big file of size around 5.4 GB. So maybe grab a snack while it downloads. Step 6. Let FlyOB work its magic. Once downloaded, go back to FlyOB Select the ISO and let it run. A partial window pops up. It might even say installing Windows Server at first. Chill. That's just a trick. Underneath, it is installing the normal Windows 11, Home or Pro you had before. Basically, Windows cosplay. Step 7. The Upgrade Dance. Click Next. Accept Microsoft's license like anyone read those and make sure to keep the option to keep your file and apps. That's the golden ticket. No wiping, no reinstalling your Spotify playlist. Then sit back. Your PC will restart a few times. Maybe go blank. Maybe show some cryptic messages. Don't touch it. Let it vibe. Step 8. Hello Windows 11 and boom. After a little patience, you are greeted by the shiny Windows 11 login screen. Punch in the same pin you used on Windows 10 and you are in. To confirm, right click start, go to system, check the version. There it is, Windows 11 Pro. Fully activated with your digital license. No shady keys, no new purchase, Microsoft can't stop you. Step 9. Updates and chill. Head into Windows Update and grab the latest patches, just to make sure everything's fresh. All your files, still here. 
all your apps still here. Rollback option, just in case, don't like Windows 11, that's fine, within 10 days you can roll back to Windows 10. Just head to settings, recovery, go back, one click and you are back in your comfort zone. After 10 days though, yeah, you would have to do a full reinstall, so make up your mind quick. And that's it, you just upgraded an unsupported PC to Windows 11 without breaking a sweat, saved yourself hundreds of dollars on a new machine and maybe a little dignity too. If this video saved you from Microsoft upgrade drama, hit that like button. If you want more tech hacks that make your PC smarter than Microsoft intended, subscribe. Because hey, I have got more cheats up my sleeves.